So when you're trying to, to control me, not in this kind of position, it's near impossible to control me. And the way you have to do it is by getting on the side of me. So what most people don't realize is this. This is, majority is ligaments. Ligament tendon structure that turns your leg inwards and outwards. And you have these two little ligaments inside your ankle, and that's why you get a pop, right? And that's why you go over your ankle. Most people do not go, they're not walking when they go like this. They don't go over the ankle this way, correct? So we are very weak this way. We're so strong this way to see how our structure protects us inwards. So when your foot is turned this way, the ankle will pop first. And that will be your signal. So when you have a pop or a noise or a pressure in here, that's your body saying, next is your knee. The problem is when your foot is this way, the ligaments that run in your leg this way are so powerful and so strong, along with this, they are so thick that they, they're, they're not gonna give. This is not gonna blow up. This doesn't, doesn't crack or pop. So that's why it shoots through the knee. So as soon as you turn someone's heel this way, it goes into the ACL, it goes into the meniscus, it goes into your knee. There's no muscles that are stopping those motions. It goes from the twist to the knee. So that would be a good understanding so conceptually, if someone is trying to do some funny business to my foot, what shape do I want? This, do you see how much you can, what do you call that, a seated, seated press? Yeah, seated leg press. Seated leg press, do you see how much people can do this? So you want to always be in the most powerful position, which is the squat. So when I'm trying to escape some sort of lock, if the guy is trying to twist me, I want to get the biggest muscles in action, you'll see, a lot of times you'll barely be able to pull your foot out of the lock if you can get it in a straight position using your muscles. When your foot is being turned, a lot of us, a lot of us have learned to try to like roll. And what happens is you're just rolling tighter into the lock. So it's not that we learn to roll, but when our ankle is being twisted over, we want to learn to, to spin our knee out of what we call the knee line, you know, where they're pinching it. Because they're trying to isolate the knee and the hip. If you can isolate the knee and the hip, you can, you can attack the ankle, the, the toe, the calf, and then the knee itself. This is what, you want this to be able to twist and turn without this adjustment. So if I can learn to spin my knee out, I'll be able to also get myself out of uh, locks and holds that 